Good morning, good morning, everyone. Oh, welcome to our final show of the week. It is Saturday, which is our Friday. We had a uh, yesterday was Everly's birthday party. She had lots of fun. She ripped through her presents. You realize at four they understand presents, but don't enjoy it. I think they just like to rip open the packaging. And she went on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. It was very cute. We had a good time. The puppy did not cry and carry on too much, except for he's not a fan of being in the crate during the day, even for relaxing. So that will be my next. Maybe we need a crate here instead of an open pen Maybe to start uh, retraining um, this morning. I did, I was in my bedroom getting ready for work because, you know, the house is just a puppy galore mess. Um, and he, my son and his husband came up from San Francisco and he said, uh, it's like someone stabbing him in the <laughs> eyes with needles. Ouch. Oh, it's like, ah! it's <laughs> oh my God, it was hysterical. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is, uh, it's. Catterday? Yeah, oh, fine. yes. I have a dogger day. <laughs> I normally have, it's funny. My joke was that uh, I um, had all the kids, all the dogs, all the cats. So I had, who lived with me when um, I separated, two cat. I did. I had two cats, two dogs, two kids. Yes. And I'm down to two kids are back in the house. And two dogs. I'd like to introduce a cat again. I do like cats. They're easy and fun and yeah. um, sometimes they like you and sometimes they're happy to do their own thing. Right? That's what we need sometimes. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Okay, we have so many fun things to talk about today. I am actually going to pin the link for what we're talking about because it is a, you have one kid and husband. <laughs> oh my God. He was so funny in person, how he was like, um, I was told we were getting the type of dog, right? Mm. And I forget what kind of dog she has, but it was very cute the way he said it. Um, but lots of good things we are going to be, I'm going to give you an advance on it, just to know we are talking about the highly anticipated Chowgu Forte 2.0, um, the needles. I pinned the link. It is on a pre-order. We're going to talk way more about the needles and why this is the set to add to your collection. Um, all right, we're jumping right in. We're going to talk about the grand prize. So many good things in here. We have, oh, it's so fancy. I think we did this yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Wait, before I go, mini schnauzers. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. There was something. Um, you guys understood the assignment of buying the snacks because I love it. People wanted healthy snacks. We sold out of those so quickly. We do have some of the smaller containers of the honey pecans that are on clearance uh, that are delicious. There may be a bag right here oh. that we've been eating. I've been sharing them to get people to buy them, but they're so delicious. These are the ones that are on clearance for 50% off the price. They're amazing. Bev says she has two kids, a husband, and her cat, Jasmine. Ooh, it's snowing where people are. It's crisp it's here. It's cold here. It's definitely cold. Yeah. I wasn't cold yesterday, but today, well, I can feel it in my fingers. Yeah. All right. Our grand prize for January 2024 is all things winter. We have um, two beautiful patterns that can be made with fingering weight in your stash, Fingering weight and a mohair would yield you brassavola, which we need to. I'm going to write that down to get that out so we can show people. Brassavola is done with one skein of merino cloud originally, one mohair. But here's the thing. You can substitute. You can still get the patterns without the yarn. This is the World Traveler Azores in spots with World Traveler Azores in the 7 series in mohair ombre one ply. With one skein, you can do the Santa Caterina. This is from our collection, right? So you'll always see this is from our Azores collection. 
uh, beautiful designs, double stranded, knit on a big needle. You guys know I am, I like things to be finished fast. Sweaters take me a long time, but in the meantime of the sweaters, I need quick projects. Um, it just soothes my soul that I actually finish things, which I still haven't finished the sleeve. Maybe next week, my first UFO for the year will be done. We also have Brassavola, which is a diagonal knit scarf. Uh, with more yarn, you can cast on more stitches and make it wider. But it's a really play, a really good play on opacity. The mohair is a one ply, very sheer. So you do sec the entire thing has mohair in it, but then you have sections of the mohair by itself, the mohair held with the merino cloud. It's beautiful. It's knits and purls, increases and decreases. That it. That is it. It is lovely to hand knit. If you're a machine knitter, you can do it on your machine. As long as when you get it to the other side, you're comfortable waist starting it and starting at the beginning again. Um, so we've got that. We have a package. We're starting the year off right. I have been eating so much. Um, I'm still on the sugar train. I'm trying to get myself off of it again. But the checker cherries, pistachio cherry, we do have this flavor still in. It's amazing. This is my favorite because it's pistachios with Four different types of cherries. Uh, we have a set of markers. Um, this is the year of taking care of yourself. Self-care year or sante, as I like to say. Good health. Um, so you're going to get that. You are going to get a class supply tin that has scissors, markers, locking stitch markers, tapestry needle, and a 60-inch retracting uh, tape measure and it can go everything except for one thing can go in the case when we do this again we're going to get bigger tin so everything can go in it but it, great job we also have the easy peasy gauge ruler we have been selling these like crazy here's what i hate to say girls and men and whoever's watching gauge matters it matters it sucks but it does if you're making a sweater you need it to fit. If you're making a cowl and you're super loose, it's not going to have the same look. You'll run out of yarn. Uh, if you know you knit loose, drop down a needle size. If you know you knit tight, go up one for accessories, right? But it it, it does matter. Dang it. I hate to say that. If you don't swatch, you do like me and you give your sweater to Anna. Yep. Well, you are unpredictable in your gauge. A you, bit, yes. Karen tends to knit everything at bulky. Yeah. Whatever it is, that's her style. Um, I used to be much uh, tighter. I'm looser. I said, I'm just relaxed. I tried to channel my inner Karen, which is why I ripped that project out last night. Oh, over. you did? A yeah. different one? Same project, different needle. You went down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were going to switch. Couldn't decide, so I just... I didn't get a resounding yes from you, and I'm like, okay, I'll just keep doing it. Because I was in the middle of the I party. Know, I, know. I did like that second one, though. You guys, what we're talking about is we have an exclusive that is unveiling next Friday. So Karen finished her project. I'm working on mine. Susan just tore hers out, and she's got the fingering weight one. Here's the thing. <laughs> she can knit it in a week. Yeah. So God love her, and I can't wait to show you guys. I'll give you a little tip called Sunset Kisses. That is the name of the colorway. It is not available on the website, but it will be soon. Uh, Shelly says, tight, loose, the yarn makes it different for me too. Hey, Deb. Deb, I can't wait to hear about your trip. Good morning, Doris. Good morning, everyone. I love all this. Hi, Catherine and Helen. So exciting. Serious turbulence, but she's still knitting. <laughs> wait, who? Uh, uh, it's got to be oh, Melanie. Melanie. Oh, Melanie. Yeah. Melanie, I've done those trips to Mexico that the turbulence was crazy. And let me just say, I love that you're watching us from the air. I know. Could you have Jeff take your picture? Because I want to be post awesome. that. Somehow that it's you and me in the same thing, in the same frame. Oh, I love it. All right. How you get entered into the grand prize every time you make a purchase, whether it is on our fully stocked website, newtikyarns.com, or you um, do one of the links that we have either in our private Facebook group or on YouTube, which has literally all the links 
we try and spoon feed you to make it easy. That is my theory. Make it easy, make it easy. Um, we are going to do the drawing live on Thursday, the 1st of February. I have my cheat sheets not um, done yet, but I'm really excited. I love seeing who wins. Um, and you guys are always so grateful for the prizes that we get. It's super nice. We have people drop off prizes. We go through our stash. We have um, reps that give us, like at the end of the season, all their samples that they were showing. So shout out Jilda. This is a Jilda prize. She's amazing. Number one, um, her and Alexandra probably are the two that donate the most. But we're just always grateful for them. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> this is from the boys in China that you always you're like or they do like uh this is a heart oh, so you do one. like this I have all kinds of China things from being in China with the boys all right our daily prize is this fantastic skein of Noro Silk Garden sock in color S205 one of my favorites you guys can see this is all things Happiness, this is you and I in a skein. It is. We have my bright pink, that fuchsia. It's almost like a neon fuchsia. Then you're going to see red violet, a little bit of purple, this cranberry color. You can even see some blues bits in there. And even one. a little bit of gray, you know, <clears throat> chocolate. Chocolate, <throat> navy. It's beautiful. We do have the Silk Garden sock is in our clearance bin, so don't worry. The clearance sale is still continuing. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have one, uh, our pattern is Love is Love. This is a really nice, easy, I did it with multiple skeins of yarn, but in a self-striping makes it so much easier. It's about a DK weight yarn. You need somewhere between 300 and 675 yards on a size eight needle. Everything about this is golden, right? Easy. The trick with seed stitch that I'm going to tell you guys my secret. You cast on an odd amount of stitches and then you just knit one purl one until it's the length that you want. Then you don't have to worry about am I knitting this purl or purling this knit? You don't even need a marker. You just keep going around, around, around until you're almost out of yarn. Bind off loosely on a much bigger needle, normally two or three sizes bigger, uh, to ensure you have a loose bind off. You can do one of the fancy ones, but honestly, I feel like binding off with a bigger needle gives me a better look, aesthetic look of what I want to do. Thank you, Eileen. This was an Olympics. I'm we're gonna start, you know, eventually start talking about the Olympic event for the summer. I don't even know what our sweater is gonna be. Starting in February. Winter or summer? I think it's Summer Olympics. I have no idea. That is, that's good to know. I believe it's Summer Olympics. Does anyone know? Is it winter or summer? I think it's summer. It's in Paris. So they don't okay, have yeah. mountains. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Heather. This is my thing. This, You know what? I always talk. Thank you, Stacey. I thought it was summer. Uh, one of the things you guys know, we talk about Juan all the time. Juan is one of my friends out of um, the Los Angeles area, and he is an incredible machine knitter who and knitter who designs for celebrities, movies, uh, collections, and he doesn't gatekeep anything. His thought is, why wouldn't you want to help people become better at what they do? That's my theory. That's our staff's theory. We want to help you love your craft. Because we love it. And if you love it, you'll buy more from us. Very simple. It's a really nice exchange. So summer. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you, everyone. I thought it was summer because I don't know of any mountains in Paris. But, I haven't thought about where it was. I just knew it was coming. I'm well, because like, it could be Paris, but it's actually in the mountains, right? Yeah, I was just kind of worried. I'm like, we got to get cracking on that. But if it's summer, we have No, time. we have time. Thank goodness. It'll be, we'll talk more about it, but we do a... Mm -hmm event that you can win prizes there's a gold level you're going to make a sweater there is the uh, silver which is a shawl susan normally leads that one and then there is a um, bronze which is like a hat or a cowl maybe we'll make karen in charge of that one or brenta uh, thank you thanks deb uh, we love you guys too so we'll talk more about it, but just something to consider that we'll be doing this summer. We've done it since we opened. Our very first one was the February Ladies Sweater.
and Dream and Color dyed our yarn. And they still had a store in Chicago when they did it. Mm. And I remember it was close because it's cold in Chicago. The yarn wasn't drying. It's so funny to think about that, how far they've come. <sighs> All right. Let's see how are you going to win the daily prize. I'm curious from comments. Your, your guys' turn. I will read it. How do you guys win the daily prize? <laughs> That's right. They're like, let's get in our comments. That's right. I love it. People are doing the emojis. Every time you have an emoji, you are going to, if you interact, you're going to get one entry for every reaction. Thank you, everyone. Like and share, comment and share. Um, I love it. Yes, Stacy. What, what is this summer with Juan? Couldn't hear. We're nothing. We're just talking about the Summer Olympic projects for Natik. I don't even think we're supposed to say Olympics, but Summer World Inclusive Athletic Events. I was going to say personal challenge. <laughs> I think we can't say it. We can say it in honor of the Olympics. Yes. We do a knitting event because we don't want to get dinged by um, the Olympics. They, uh, are very Sue happy. So we want to make sure. Yes, Van Hamel. You're welcome. All right. So one entry for every reaction. Every time we say, we comment. Did I even spell it right? You're going to get five yes, entries for every comment. I said, can we say one? And then if you come over here, you can share now, share to your stories, share to Instagram, share to your favorite group. You just have to pop right in, share to my stories, share to my friends. And you're going to get 11 entries for every time you share. Shout out. Honestly, we could not get as many new customers without you guys. You know, our goal is, this is what I would say, cream. We create a community, one stitch, one live, one post at a time. And that is our goal is uh, we love selling yarn, but frankly, we love the community the most. It has been a game changer for all of us, not just you guys. We are very uh, filled with gratitude with each uh, of the interactions we have with each of you. And it just, you guys are so nice to us. As Sandy Tokenaga says, just chase two dogs back to my house. Oh, geez. Oh, didn't envision that fetch game going too bad. Yeah, Woo, the worst. All right. We are going to see who is going to be the winner of this prize based off of <laughs> based off of yesterday's video. Oh, you did it. Yeah. Can we set it like for real? I haven't figured out how. All right. I do like that. It's our pink, though. See who's going to be the winner of this fantastic prize. Ooh, Beth and Wilt. I don't know who you are, so I love seeing new people. I recognize your name, but I don't know if she's local or not. So, Beth, if you are local, next time you come visit us, let us know you have a prize, and we will get it from the cabinet. If you're not local, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. And I think she's not local because I recognize the name from mailing. Okay. That's my yeah. thinking on this. Like a little perusal of some of the displays Karen's done. And oh, my gosh. So reading. pretty. I love our wool sign. Me too. Uh, Woolworths. That is from oh, Woolworths. Nice. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You guys get a quick little look at the happiest place on earth for us. Oh, Beth is from Minnesota. All right, Beth. So the next time you pay make a purchase. You may have already said this in the note section. You are going to say, I have a prize. We will pop it in the mail for you. We do keep the prizes for 30 days. At that point, they are recycled into uh, to move on to the home of the next person. But my gosh, look at what you want. So pretty. That, one. That, I was, do. that was hard to put in a prize bag. It I'm is. Like, oh, I just want to look at it. I know. Sometimes they come and we're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, we we'll use the other bag. Yeah, we'll use that one again. Because we could do a few more prizes. 
Yep, time to get some more ready. Yeah, maybe some of the bigger ones, chunky. We could do that. It's like whatever one's full. Yeah. All right. So we're going to jump right in. We have lots of things that we're going to talk about. But the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Chowgu Forte 2.0. If you were not one of the lucky people last time to get them, um, we are doing a pre-order on them. I can tell you uh, we sold out. We have a list of 24 people who we have contacted to let them know that the needles are back in stock. Uh, sorry, the needles are back to do a pre-order. They're going to be, we should receive them, I say January, February. I, For the sake of delays, I said the first quarter of 2024. We're going to talk about the improvements they had. And Susan's going to talk a lot about these needles, too, because this is her set. I gave up my set for somebody else. So, yes, I am on the 2.0 list, and we're going to um, we're gonna show them, and we're going to talk about it. And it, you don't have to say too much, but if you want to <laughs> jump in, this set that I'm going to show you is the 1.0 set, but it gives you a really good... Um, indication of what is in it. You can see things are on the needle for Susan. I going to say it does come with a complete set. I have some of mine in use. All right. So based on the feedback, Chowgu has switched the smaller sizes because, look, it goes a two, two and a half, three, four, five. The smaller needles have been switched from African black wood to carbon fiber because there were some breakage in the smaller sizes. This makes the smaller sizes much less prone to breaking. The Forte 2.0 will also include, include three new flexible twist cables loved for the extremely smooth joins and lack of memory. We are so excited. I didn't believe they were going to do another um, an improvement on them. They are very expensive to produce because of the wood that is used. This case is everything that you need. If you already have them, um, I would love to get your feedback on it. But I just think everything you need for traveling, boom, in this nice little case. Even the fantastic scissors. So a um, little bit of details. We do have it pinned right here. We have 25 sets. And I know we've pre-sold some of them already. Um, so you want to come a little bit closer. We will talk about the sizes. There are seven pairs of carbon fiber tips, seven pairs of luxurious black wood. It goes up to a 15. All right. So the smallest seven from a two to an eight are carbon fiber tips for strength, seven pairs of luxurious African black wood tips from nine to 15 for smooth knitting, three swivel 360 and three twist cables in various lengths for versatile knitting. I love the case, it's a book style design with storage pockets. Let me show, removable needle board. Yep. Snap. So you can unsnap it and a metal tin for accessories. Right there. So cute. So this has your stitch markers, your point protectors. This is a game changer. If you guys are having your cords, your tips are coming out of your cords, it's because you don't have them tight enough. This helps, especially in the winter months that your hands are dry. It's a twister. Did these come with it, or mm -hmm. you put those yeah, in? Everything, oh. That's everything that came with it. Okay, so there are some pins. There's tapestry needles. There's T-pins. There's a turner. Lots of goodies in here. A pen. Yep, comes with a pen. I think that's so cute. Um, connectors, stoppers, adapters, tightening tools, scissors, darning needles, stitch markers, safety pins, measuring swatch right here, needle gauge right there, and heart-shaped grip. Gripper. A Forte 2.0 set offers the perfect combination of strength, smoothness, sustainability, 
and carbon fiber shafts ensure durability while African blackwood shafts offer smooth splinter free knitting. Uh, the set also supports sustainable environmental sustainability with every set a tree is planted in Africa, oh, nice. which I love that. I didn't know that before. Got the tape measure too. Yep, tape measure right here. A little pocket here. You could put money in there. That's what I would do. I should do that. Yep, little $10 bill or a Starbucks gift card. Yeah. Um, I don't know what this is for. I, I have no Maybe idea. you could put your keys in there and zip it up. Yeah, there's a um, pocket here too. Pocket here for really oh, your swivel cords, but you can put a lot in there and yep. then zip it up. I like the gray case. They should be delivered uh, first quarter. They're saying they say end of January, beginning of February. I just said first quarter so that we're not disappointed that it takes a little bit longer. Oh, Chowgu was established in 2005, the same year that Natik opened its doors. But so very beautiful. I'm going to show you. Susan has a project on them. Stacy Winslow says she she got them and likes it because she's always liked wood needles and they have the perfect point of metal. They True. They are awesomely sharp. So here is one of Susan's projects. I like that they slide with the wood. They slide really nicely up and down. Chowgu is the only company that has two sets of cords, one for two through eight, the other nine through 15. Very, very nice. Um, I actually like this, that the stamp, I want this on all of theirs. The stamp should be etched on the actual cord and not here because you can't read it on the other ones. This is another cord. This is, um, this is the twist that comes with the yeah. 2.0. There we go. And then, of course, she has her heart uh, stitch stoppers. You guys wonder how that works? Yeah, They're a game changer. They are, especially because I use a 24 needle for as long as I possibly can. Absolutely. And You're like there's me. a lot of stitches crammed on there. I'm like, I do not want them falling off at and this point. You have to really pull to get that off. They stick so well. They're my favorite. Um, you Stoppers. like the silicone? Yeah, I do. Silicone, silicone. Silicone, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what it is? Because Silicon Valley is what I think a lot oh, of times. Because right. we are very close to um, that area. Deb Kester says, does the claw clip flip up so you can attach it to something after it's zipped closed? No. You would not be able to do that. Well, the zipper's here. You could go most I of the way. I guess you could go backwards. I don't know what you'd want hanging out, though. I, I don't know. Maybe but attach yes, it to You could do that if you wanted. Bag? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Linda Simpson says she has them. She's glad they're strengthening the smaller needles. It always feels like I'm going to snap them. Yes, there were. that was a um, design flaw right away. But they are wonderful about replacing them. So if you purchase them from us and you have any snaps, then you can... Um, Send them back. Yeah. We warranty them. No problem. Stacy Ting says, is the lobster is the lobster claw so you can hook the set to a lanyard in your bag? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know what that's for. And who knows if the 2.0 set has it. I would feel like the only, it seems like the only thing they did was change this size. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. So. Love it. My favorite thing about them is how warm they are in your hand. Oh. They're not the least bit cold. That and they're super pointy, which, mm -hmm. which I love. Which we love. But they're just, they're very warm. They don't bother my hands at all. I just pick them up. I'm like, oh, that's really nice. Uh, Natalie says she snapped one. They replaced it. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. On It's a lifetime warranty on their products. Yeah. So like we said, we have 25 sets originally. Our price point is the lowest that I've seen. We are selling them for $229.99. Oh, sorry, $329.99. Um, they are very expensive even for us to buy, so we don't do our normal markups. We are trying to get great needles in your hands. But I love that everything's here. You could just travel. There it goes. All right, so that is the biggest thing we're talking about today just because um, I wanted 
like I said, we have 25 sets and I want to make sure everyone gets an opportunity. If it's something that you wanted, uh, you can get them. We are going to move on to some things in our clearance section that I think are fantastic and everyone needs to buy. Starting with, you cannot have enough stitch markers. These were made in the U.S. They are up to a 10 and a half needle. And the stone is dolomite. Uh, clearance to under $11.25. I like the ones right here where you have a circle with a bead and they're glued on. Very nice packaging. That's a lot of work to do that packaging. Mm -hmm. um, it's a set of two, let's see, I think six of, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the beads and then one of the dangly bits, which would be a lot of people are going to use that as the beginning of the round marker. Hi, Sandra. How many of you um, love stitch markers and can't get enough of them? That's kind of my theory. I need them, and then when I can't find them, I just buy more. Yes. Next is the Lantern Moon Black Sheep Tape Measure. This is really big. I like that. Good size numbers. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we have a black one left. I don't know how we do, but we do. Um, very fun. This is Everly's favorite things are the retractables. They come in this gorgeous little net. Their packaging is fantastic. Tie it. Makes a nice little present for someone, for yourself, for your granddaughter. Because they like to pull open and close. This is the black sheep tape measure uh, on sale for under $15. These are some of my favorite markers. I like these. This is the tassel stitch markers. It's silk tassels from Lantern Moon. The wire is very, very skinny. And so they don't um, give you a little join aspect of it. There's two blacks, two blues, two chartreuse green, two maroon, and two dove gray. Or sterling, kind of in that same time frame. Of it. I love the silk. You can see it's silk because it's super shiny. I have a lot of people will buy these and then in their knitting group, they give everybody one. Oh, nice. Just as a little thoughtful gift. These were originally $18. They're under $13.50. It is not too early to start your, uh, I, I have a gift drawer that I put things in there when I find them on good deals. And then... I have things at the last minute, or I just want to give a little I love you present to someone. All right, so we've got those. This is, I love the next ones. We have these custom made for us. These are project bags. Fabric that I picked up in England when I was there. Um, Brenda's mom made these. She's an amazing seamstress. She washes her fabric. You see, everything is done perfectly. That she's got red to have it pop out a little bit. They're finished with a um, serger. Really nicely done. Even she presses her, you know, even this, because that's extra work. Mm -hmm. She's doing both of those separately and then seaming it. This is one of our bigger bags. Uh, and that was $21.99, now $15.75. I love this one, and we don't have a lot of them. She did this so you could pull your yarn through, um, and it makes it almost like a bowl like Susan uses. But she um, put this really pretty ultra suede on it to protect the fabric around it, so the Union Jack. These go in your washer, dryer. You don't have to treat them any different. Um, but so very nice. Again, really well constructed with the serger finishing. And these are made in Elk Grove. I love even that. Okay, she coordinated the red and then this mm -hmm. one that coordinated the blue. So the thread matches the ribbon. Mm-hmm. So pretty. And we have maybe about a dozen of them that are available for you. I think a good gift bag as well. 
I think so too. I like to give stuff like this because then people can use these to travel. This is where your shoes would go in because you don't want your shoes free floating in your bag because think of all the stuff you walk on that it sticks your foot. I want to think about that. Put them in the bag. That's right. Put them in the bag and then tuck them in where they need to go. So I have a friend who did a laundry set for me and I loved it. Okay, last in the clearance sale that we're going to be talking about today, we have the Coco and Carmen Embrace. I'm going to show you how it works. This allows you to um, kind of attach. There's things that you could attach, right? Hold on. And I wore my sweater, even though it doesn't really match. So I could show you guys. I knew we were going to talk about these. If you have a cardigan, whether it's machine done or not, you can just clip both sides and it holds it like that. Really nice way to close it up. You can clip this right here or on your shirt or whatever. And then you take your glasses and then your glasses are there. I need my glasses not to be right there, but I like that. You also can take it if you have t-shirts that are a little bit bigger in the back. You can take it like here. I'm trying to think. Oh, can I show? I'm probably doing it backwards. Whatever. I am. Hold on. I am not a lefty, so it's like I'm like I'd help you, but I only have one hand. That's right. That doesn't work either. All right, so you can adjust like your sweaters or t-shirts that are really big That's and so cute. you can have it in the back. So then it ends up looking a little bit smaller. It's less free flowing. I do it a lot of times. I'll do it on the inside of it. Mm. Melanie showed me a bunch of things where you can take rubber bands and stuff like this and you can create a different look. Um, we do have several that are available. These are down to under $13.50. I love this one. This one is what I like about it. It is gold and silver and rhinestones. So currently what's in fashion, definitely mixed metals. I like a lot of them are the gold. Here's even the sunflower. I'm a big sunflower person. It reminds me of my mom. We have silver and gold on that. And the last but not least, we have all silver with a flower and a little rhinestone. All right. I have a bunch of these. I use them. I gave some to my sister, too. You did? Yeah. She uses them when she wears her stuff to work because her office is cold. She works in the office every day? Yeah. yeah. No, no down days? No. That's a bummer. Yeah. All right, so there we have it. I really like it for, here's a picture of what, you know, what I'm trying to show you guys in behind, but I really do like it for the glasses because I keep losing my glasses. Hey, Sarah. All right, Kate Plowden said her granddaughter's fascinated. I'm sure it is with their tape measure. <laughs> All right, so here's our showcase today. We have the Chowgu Forte 2.0. We have great things from our clear, semi-annual clearance sale. It is sh We could definitely condense more because yeah, look yeah. at, we've got like half-filled ones. Maybe yeah. Karen will do that today. Uh, we have the project bags, gift bags, whatever you want to call them. We have the embrace, clip, fasten, and hold, lantern moon, tape measures, silk tassels, and these really pretty dolomite stitch markers. We're going to talk about what classes we have coming up in the next month or so, starting with, I have to look at everything, this one, this one, oh, yeah. the Pico and Eyelet Shawl is the 13th and the 27th, it uses 440 yards of fingering weight yarn. We use for 16. It is 16 micron pound. It is a tonal look. I think very, very pretty. I love the Pico here. So I'm going to teach you all the necessary stuff to get, a microphone. That's okay. To get started. 
And I think it's going to be beautiful. I have people doing it out of seven series art yarns, which would be really pretty with some beaded silk and sequins at the edges, which I think are gorgeous. Next in the lineup, we have the Gravilia shawl via Zoom. This is a one hour class. Your pre-work is just to do this little bit of garter stitch. And in class, I'm going to teach you how to do this beautiful lace section, which is essentially the same. We'll talk about how to change your colors. We use the Wonderland's mini skein pack, Warm Wishes Holiday under the mistletoe. Once that would do it, you can do it uh, like Susan did, kind of in a gradient order, or you can just put them all in a bag. And the next one that you do, you pull out, you make it nice and easy. I'm trying to think the first. Well, I wasn't sure if it was Persian tiles, but we'll talk about that one later. We have the mitered heart washcloth. This is using one skein of coastal cotton on a US four needle. You're gonna do scrap yarn and extra needles, cast on 60 stitches, knit two rows. We're gonna teach you the technique in the project. And then you'll be able, after class, you'll be able to go home and get started on that. So we're teaching the technique to really make it easy for you. Uh, because we're all about uh, having both crafts, we have the cutest, this one came unstuck. But this is a class that I'm teaching, Hooked on Love Crochet Washcloth. It is a Granny Square-esque um, washcloth. What I love about it is you're doing increasing and decreasing, which is super fun. And then you do a border that finishes it each hook. There's no pre-work. We're going to jump right in and get started. And if you are one of the participants in our Persian Tiles Blanket Crochet Along, the third Saturday of January from 11 to 12, I will be teaching seven and rounds seven and eight. This is the fourth month. If you want to join us, we're still having people join us. You will get a link with classes one through four, which will teach you all about the organizing of your project and how to do uh, each round. And what's nice about it is you have a recording of a class for you to go back at any point and learn more about it. I have to pull out. Oh, here's one. I was going to say I have to pull out. Here's one of mine. This is where we finished for last class. We're going to do the fans next time. So pretty. We're almost, I feel like we're almost, maybe a couple more sessions, we're going to be done with the hexagons, and then we'll move on to the other ones. Very pretty. We have people doing it all in a couple of colors or a bunch of colors. It kind of depends on what you are doing. Um, I am wearing Nikia, 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 yeah, Nikia wafers. Uh, this is from Marie Green. This was one of our Olympic projects. It's knit out of linen. Um, what for our Olympic events or big game events? We like to find stuff that's not has like a section of interesting, but it is really easy, most of it. This is a top down in the round, essentially. Uh, pick up later and just finish the sleeve, but I like it. I love linen. This was a linen blend, but you could use um, our new yarn linen whisper would be perfect for this one. Could easily get gauge on that one. All right, here we go. Here comes Susan getting ready. There we go. Oh, this is a cute one. Yeah, this is the Easy Goes It, their fingering version. They have a DK as well, but one skein of fingering made by my friend Nancy. Oh, I good. love that. Yeah. Just garter stitch and some yarn over knit two togethers. You know, the yarn around the corner behind me, straight back, go back. You'll keep going. All the way. Keep going by the oh. class table. No, oh, no. Nope. Yeah, that's right. No, nope. keep going straight to your right. No, that's your left. No, right there. This one? That yarn looks just like it. Yeah. 
Next time, just say behind you. <laughs> uh, listen, I was trying. Love okay, me. look at this one. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, oh, I have a sample in that in the back. Right? Do you want to go get it? Yeah. This is a uh, Lane de Nord Paint Gradient Sock. That is crazy how good this is, the match that this is. Um, again, you're not limited for it being sock yarn, right? You can do whatever you want with it. The reason why they consider it sock yarn is there's nylon in it to stabilize the fiber. Hello, Alma. Nice to meet you. Right? Okay, hold on. Susan finished a project. Karen finished. Oh, Karen. Karen did this Jeez. one for me. All right. Lay it down. Karen, knit this for you? Yeah. You guys are so we cute. Trade. So here we are. Isn't that beautiful? Hello, Curlin. I think this is like the halfway point in the skein. Where it switches? Maybe. I don't know. I thought there was some... But so yeah. beautiful. All right, you want to lift it up again? Because I should have shown that. But boy, if you're not matchy matchy today, I know. That's one skein. So beautiful. If, um, we just want to say thank you, everyone, for watching us. We will be in the boutique from 11 to 5 today. I do teach. Uh, Zoom class at 11, so shout out to my peeps who are going to be taking a class with me. I'll, we also have all skills that I'll be teaching from 12 to 2, but Karen and um, Susan will be here to help you with whatever you need help with. So thank you so much for joining us for the first week of January, and we can't wait to see you on Tuesday. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.